Hi, my name is Karen Ingram. I'm here today from XL Poles in the UK. I'm also an in-run audit walking instructor and a national coach. I'm going to be telling you in this video clip about the really clever um, quick lock system that's fitted to all XL poles. And this basically enables you to change the tip system that you've got on the end of any Nordic walking pole that you buy from XL. Many of the poles come with one of these options as standard, but you can retrofit any of these to any XL pole that's fitted with a quick lock system. The first option is the Aero 2 tip which works in conjunction with the asphalt pad. The second option is a suspension tip. Now the suspension tip is really, really good for racing or something where you don't want to stop and take the port on and off. This actually has an inbuilt shock absorber as part of the tip, which means you will still get the noise of the tip striking a hard surface, but the shock absorber will allow for a little bit of um, dampening effect. And the last option, and really the most innovative option that XL offers, is the all-terrain tip. This is the all-terrain tip option. You can see it here in the pour down position, enabling you to work, walk on hard surfaces. And here we've got it with the pour hinged upwards, enabling you to walk on the road. And you can now as well buy the, the, just the pad as a spare part. So in the pole you can see now, all you can see is the receiver and you'll see that there is a very small little nip here which enables the tip that we're going to fit to stay on. So when there's no tip on the pole at all, all you do is to take, um, and in this instance it's an Aero 2 tip, and you literally just slide it on, pushing it on until the tab has actually come behind the little ridge and sometimes it's worth just pushing it in slightly so that it stays on. To remove a tip, if you wanted to change it for a spare part or to retrofit something like an all-terrain tip, you need a flat bladed screwdriver and what you want to do is to just get that underneath the tab, lift it slightly and then just slide the tip off until it's cleared the ridge underneath and you can remove it.